Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And today's topic of discussion is basic introduction to irrigation. So basically, this will be the first lecture uh, where we are going to start our discussion on our subject irrigation engineering. So in this uh, video lecture, we are going to discuss uh, what is irrigation and what are the advantages and disadvantages of irrigation. And at the end, we are going to discuss the type of irrigation methods available, right? So make sure you watch the video till the end. And uh, if you find this video useful, make sure you like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more video lectures like this, right? And uh, do comment your views at the uh, in the comment section. All right. So let us start our discussion with the basic introduction, right? So irrigation is nothing but a science of artificial application of water. To the land in accordance with the crop requirement. This means when we artificially apply water to the crop so that to fulfill its need or the requirement, then that process is called as the irrigation. Okay. Now, why do we need to apply the water artificially? So this can be very well explained uh, through a simple graph that is drawn between the water content and growth of a respective crop. So if we see that uh, there will be an optimum quantity, there will be an optimum quantity where the maximum growth takes place, right? So there will be an optimum quantity of water where the maximum growth takes place. So what we want is that our crop or plant receive this much quantity of water so that it yields to the its maximum capacity, right? If the water content is less than this quantity or the optimum uh, quantity of water, then the growth will not be to the maximum quantity. And likewise, if you provide too much quantity of water, then again, there will be decrease in the yield of crop or uh, decrease in the growth of plants, right? So via irrigation, we artificially, in case there is a lack of water availability, we artificially apply the optimum quantity of water so that we can get the maximum growth. All right. So there are certain uh, direct advantage of irrigation and uh, some indirect advantage of irrigation. So the direct advantage of irrigation is that it ensures optimum growth of the plant or the crop. It increases the food production and it eliminates the phenomena of forced mixed cropping, right? So in certain areas where the uh, quantity of water is not available in the uh, optimum quantity, in those areas, the farmers are forced to go for the mixed cropping phenomena, right? So having the facility of irrigation provides the option for the farmer to choose the type of uh, crop they want to sow. Right, so it eliminates the need of mixed cropping, or to be more precise, uh, eliminates the need of forced mixed cropping. Then there are certain indirect advantage of irrigation. So, of course, in order to uh, provide that much quantity of water, we need to construct some irrigation structures. Right. So, with this construction, there are some added benefits uh, that are attached. So, those benefits are that it helps to generate hydroelectric power. It improves the domestic water supply. And if the, uh, the, the size of project is huge, then that uh, irrigation structure or to provide that irrigation facility can ensure an inland navigation, right? Apart from that, afforestation is also promoted when we go for the irrigation, right? So these are certain advantage of irrigation then there are certain disadvantages right so like we are providing water artificially so uh, as we have discussed in the uh, graph before if we provide higher than the optimum water quantity then of course there will be decrease in the yield of the crop so if we over irrigate our our field or crops or plant then it may lead to the phenomena called as the water lobby over irrigation may lead to dampness, which will promote the outbreak of diseases. It will provide a platform 
or an environment for the insects to grow which will lead to the outbreak of diseases and too much irrigation leads to the seepage of nitrates into the groundwater table contaminating the groundwater table and thus uh, disrupting the natural ecology of the area so these are sudden disadvantages that are attached to irrigation or we can say over irrigation right if we do not manage the quantity of irrigation that we want to do then these are the disadvantages that can happen now uh, talking about the type of irrigation broadly we can uh, quantify into two categories the first one is called as the surface irrigation and in surface irrigation is when we supply water directly to the soil right so when we apply water directly to the soil that is called as the surface irrigation now surface irrigation can be done into two ways the first one is the flow irrigation and in flow irrigation the water is allowed to reach to the field or to the desired destination by the mere action of gravity so here what happens is that our water source is at a higher elevation with respect to the destination or the field right let's say this is our field and this is our water source which is situated at higher elevation so with the help of constructing a well built network we can ensure the transfer of water to the desired destination or to the field now the, since the source of water is at a higher elevation so the water will flow under the action of gravity so when this happens when the water flows under the action of gravity that is called as the flow irrigation all right next we have the lift irrigation and in lift irrigation water is lifted up to the desired destination so here in the lift irrigation what happens is the destination or the field is at higher elevation while the water source is at a lower elevation right or it may be situated at a much 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 further distance that it requires some mechanism to lift up the water right so in that case what we do is we install certain pumps and other accessories which ensures that the water is lifted up water is lifted up and is reached to the desired destination or to the field so when we lift the water up that is called as the lift irrigation all right so these are the two ways in which water is applied in the surface irrigation technique right so this is your water flowing under the mere action of gravity so when this happens it is called as the flow irrigation and when we lift up water through the some mechanism to reach the desired destination then it is called as the lift irrigation all right the second category is the subsurface irrigation and in the subsurface irrigation water does not wet the surface right water does not wet the surface so here we can see that the water is being applied at the surface only while in the subsurface water is not uh, applied on the surface but directly to the root zone and under the action of capillary the plants or the crop absorb the water and promote their growth right so this is an example of your subsurface irrigation where we can see in this diagram that we have the crops we have the roots of the crop and through the uh, well built mechanism the water is directly applied to the roots of the crop right the practical example we can see in the figure here so here we can see that we have the desired crops and below is the root of the crops and the water is directly applied to the roots of the crop right so this is when this happens when we directly apply the water to the roots of the crop that is called as your subsurface irrigation all right 
Now this can be done artificially or naturally. So here we can see uh, the water is being applied artificially. In case the water table was so high, the water table was so high, then we need not to have such kind of mechanism, mechanism and the roots would absorb the water by the action of capillary and will lead to the growth of the plant. Right? So this is your subsurface irrigation. Right? So this was just a, a basic video regarding the introduction towards the irrigation. So that's it for uh, this lecture. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video useful, uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more video like this and press the bell icon for regular notification. And do comment your views in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.